what we have here is a drinking bird toy and it's highly modified so that it's actually not having to drink water in order to run. Uh, we took the normal drinking bird toy which is works off of uh, thermodynamics where the head is usually touching water, gets wet, gets chilled and then the methylene chloride that's in the bottle, the closed vessel, gets sucked up into the cold side and uh, changes the center of gravity and makes it look like it's drinking. But what I did to this one was I uh, painted the base black so that when it's sitting in the sun it might absorb some heat and I painted the head and the hat reflective colors uh, silver and white so that that might be a little bit colder than the, the bottom of the thing to give it that temperature difference and just to see if it might just uh, create the drinking bird movement. And it looks like the the red liquid is moving up in the neck which means that the base is a little bit hotter than the, than the head is which is good. And it uh, you know it doesn't react as fast as it does when the head is wet and there's wind blowing on it um, but it does seem to be working just fine. Thank you very much. We have a perpetual motion drinking bird. Again, it's got to be sitting in the sun in order to collect that heat. Let's use this infrared pyrometer and find out what that temperature difference is. Um, looks like the base is somewhere around 88, 80, 90, uh, high, really high 80s. And then get a reading on the head here. Wow, that white hat is like a 78, 77. Um, the silver head is more like 85, but that, that hat is definitely cold, 77 degrees. Again, that base looks like it's maybe 5 degrees hotter, it's an 82. Yeah, 82 and 78 is what it takes to get this little guy to, to drink air.